What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a pretty interesting video for you. This one's going to be about something called an ecosphere. And basically what it is is a very small container that contains an entire ecosystem and it allows it to thrive and survive without any outside help. Where I discovered this was two YouTubers, one by the name of Dustin Pack and the other was a YouTubing couple I believe and they're called Terra Tinkerers. So I'll put a link in the description so if you're curious about these ecospheres you can see more about them on their channels. But this is going to be kind of my journey into the ecosphere world and my attempt. I really liked watching what they had on their channels and I really wanted to try it myself. So what you're going to see today is kind of how I set mine up and then what it looks like once it's set up. My ecosphere is actually going to be kind of like a marshland ecosphere because that's where I took the water and materials from. I think it was about a month ago when I started this thing and so it was a little bit frozen over and still ice on the water so it's pretty crazy. I mean you're going to see in future videos and this video what kind of life is already starting in the ecosphere but I was sure that mine would be dead from the start just because I took it from kind of a frozen dead river with like a big parking lot that's probably been dumping all kinds of like oil and anything that leaks from cars like back into the river. So I'm actually really surprised by what I discovered in this ecosphere. So what you're going to need if you want to do this is you're going to need some sort of container that you can actually seal shut. The goal of an ecosphere is to just seal it shut and not let anything in or out of the ecosphere. So in my case, I have a jar that can clamp the lid down. I got this at Goodwill for maybe 99 cents or $1.99. So if you're from the United States and you have a Goodwill, it's a very good place to find a cheap container to make an ecosphere. So I just gathered about a gallon of water and then I also gathered a bunch of material. So you're going to need material for your ecospheres. You're going to need basic carbons, just any kind of like basic building block for life you're going to need. You're going to need some dead stuff, living stuff. I mean, you need stuff to be able to break down to produce more nutrients for the living things, stuff like that. So in my case, I just got some marsh grass, some roots, some mud, hoping that there are like seeds or whatever it takes to get life going in this. So this is kind of a random attempt. I mean, I have no idea if this is going to work when I first gathered this material because everything is dead. So I have no idea if life will start. So that's the problem. So yeah, I begin just sorting out everything. I'm just taking out some of the solids because I want to get a nice like base built up inside the jar. There needs to be material for the creatures to eat, for uh, microorganisms to decompose, to produce more nutrients. Again, like I said, it's important to get the entire cycle going because if you don't have a complete cycle, then your ecosphere will crash and it will die off completely and you will have no life left. So you have to try and get a good balance. I found some like small flies that were already in the water. I'm not sure where they came from, but I did put those in the eco jar. And I got really lucky because I did get a few pieces of like duckweed. That's what I think this is. I think it's duckweed. But crazy enough, it's like green, even though it's sitting in like ice. So I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm glad that I have like a starter plant because something's going to have to produce the oxygen before like algae starts forming. So I got really lucky that even though it's almost dead of winter there's still like life outside so yeah once you get your uh, solids kind of built up inside the jar then you can go and start adding your water I really mixed up the water to get all the mud and sediment off the bottom of the container in which I gathered the water just because I want to get whether it be like insect eggs plant a uh, plant seeds just microorganism eggs just any sort of life to, in this jar just so it can start it needs a starting point and because it's winter I believe the chances are probably pretty slim for life to begin just because everything's very dormant. So we'll see how it goes. Once I have everything in there, I'm just going to seal it up. And then now we just sit and wait and you just make sure that you give your ecosphere sunlight. It needs some sort of light. In my case, I'm just using like LED grow lights that I use for my plants. So I'm hoping that that light is enough to give algae the ability to do photosynthesis and same with any plants like the little bit of duckweed that you saw. All right, so this is day one. This thing has been running for 24 hours and I just wanted to see, is there any life? I don't know, but we're gonna look and find out. The issue I had though with the jar with all these tiny little bubbles, I believe comes from the fact that when I put everything in there, it was really cold. All the water you saw in the past footage that there was ice in it. So the cold and then the heating of the room on the outside of the glass, caused a lot of air bubbles to form so it's not very clear but that's not the worst of our problems so anyways 
we're just going to look for life in this. Right now, I'm just kind of looking at the solids and seeing if there's anything crawling around in there. But I don't see anything. It looks pretty dead. We do have a piece of what appears to be duckweed just slowly floating in like the dead ghost town that is our ecosphere. But then, when I didn't expect to see anything, I saw some movement. At first, I thought this could be like silt or some just random solid or particulate that was just floating throughout the water. But then I saw that it's actually not. And we have some sort of crustacean or some little microbe. Here it is again. Now, what we're looking at is called a cyclopoida. And it is actually in the subclass of a copepod. So basically just a freshwater crustacean. For their small size, they're actually quite quick, as you saw earlier when you saw it rip past the camera. This is only the first one I've seen, so hopefully there's more and they keep breeding. After searching around again for more uh, signs of life, I spotted a little red dot that was crawling around. And when I looked closely, I saw that it was actually some kind of water mite. And most of the time they end up being carnivorous and they kind of attach onto a host and suck its blood or take resources from it. So I'm not sure how this one's going to continue to survive, but we'll have to see. Hey look, there's our little crustacean friend again. Or maybe it's a second one, I'm not sure. I hope it's a second one because maybe they can breed. Even though I've shown you mostly aquatic creatures up to this point, I actually have a type of fly or some sort of flying creature in the top of the jar. As you can see in this footage right here. So I gave them some land to stand on so that way it's not continuously sitting on the water. So we'll see what happens and see if it creates some sort of colony. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this footage is about a month old, so I can promise you that there's going to be some additional footage about this jar in the future. So if you like where this is going and you like the Ecosphere uh, video, trust me, there's way cooler content coming up soon as the time progresses in our Ecosphere. Again, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please give it a like or subscribe. Um, if you like the direction this channel is going, you just leave a comment. Uh, I know this is a little off topic from the normal plants and text tech stuff but i thought this whole ecosphere thing was really cool and i really wanted to give it a try so if you want to see where this thing goes and how it progresses stay tuned for next time thanks